the invoke method is like a so invoking the methods like a see you see here there is a methods is like a uh, two types of methods are there okay one method is a return the type okay it will return a one data type what is the method just uh, tell me any methods which returns value contains it will return value contains which which what is the return type contains string that contains method what is the return type uh, that is a method what is the return type Normally, it's a IMG contains. See here, contains. The return type at the end as Boolean, right? Suppose, for example, there is a some methods client dot download file. What is the return type here? So this is not having the return types, right? See, there is no return type. Then there is no as after bracket, there is no as and value, right? Do you understand? Okay, how can we call this type of methods? To call this type of methods, the methods which does not return any value. So to call those type of methods, we are using the invoke method activity okay so in the invoke method this invoke method is a very simple it's not like a complicated okay it's a very simple okay so invoke method is used to call the methods which does not return any value but it will do something it will do something but it won't return any value okay do you understand up to that invoke method is used to return uh, call the methods which does not return any values now so it has a something again again it has something one is a static methods another one is a normal method so okay so what is the static method the static method is like a so we have to call the methods using the class name the type itself suppose for example here see here console directly this method is a direct type. so you don't need to create a variable for this console so we created the variable for web web client right we created the variable for web client, client, right? So like that, so you don't need to create a variable for the particular client uh, class name, okay? Directly, so if you have a type, so directly you can just use that one, okay? So, um, data table has a some starting method, some starting methods are there, okay? Suppose clone this clone uh, okay copy copy returns the okay copy copy method this is a copy method but it returns the data table okay but not that uh, match just see the match match method what it will do so the match method will return will will what it will return it won't return any value just see here the match method will return the void void means nothing it won't return any value it will just do something but it won't return any value to to call such type of methods which is a which is a not static so if it's a, if you want to just call the static methods you have to use a class name here and directly method name and go to the properties and add the, the parameters the parameters in inside the brackets okay okay this parameters like a inside the right so here this is like a so the, either one either when they say either you have to specify the target type or the target object okay so you have to know uh what what is that method type method is a whether the method is a static or the normal so so if it is a static what you have to do so you have to use the so only few methods not all the methods so you we're not learning all the methods let's see invoke so now we are just downloading the 
the file right the download file is one method so this is a, a web client object method this is a normal method that's why we created the client object okay we call the uh, download method okay and we gave the parameters two parameters first parameter is like a uh, the source url and second parameter is like a where we have to save that image do you understand now 